High school students in Oceanside got to hear some war stories from the greatest generation as El Camino High hosted its 26th annual Veterans Day program where multiple war heroes spoke in classrooms. News 8's Heather Hope joins us live with more from the USS Midway on the impact of today's event. Heather? And the students said it was such a great impact that all the veterans made with their great speeches. That event makes it the longest running consecutive for a Veterans Day program in San Diego County. Today's celebration highlighted all things midway from the aircraft carrier to the event. They've made such impactful moments on the country and I'm just grateful for them to be here. Hearing war stories from the greatest generation. I'm a retired master gunner sergeant in the United States Marine Corps. Bob Mifflin's military career started when he was 16 on a merchant ship. Half our crew was 16, and you could grow up real fast. It was sophomore Sam Sousa's first time hearing a veteran speak. Listen to everything they're saying because they've been through it all and they've experienced basically everything you can imagine. For 26 years, El Camino High School has hosted the longest running Veterans Day program in San Diego County. Students here are so awesome to talk with and speak with, and they're open to hear from you. Making a big impression. Learn what you can while you, while you have the opportunity. Two Marine Corps, Korean, and Vietnam War vets spoke to this ROTC class. They make me want to go ahead and just go officer out because it made it look like it's so nice to be an officer. The military hopefuls learned key advice from 87-year-old Major General James McMonagle's 35 years of service. The best way to get ahead in the Marine Corps is so so the commanding officer's problem. Colonel John Haggerty became a Marine at 19 and soon turns 90. They've always been interested in, in our service. Uh, you know, in the Marines. They give me inspiration because they've been in the service for as long as they have and they have such good careers. 95-year-old World War II veteran Sid Zimmon was a dive bomber flying more than 40 missions. I'm delighted to have the youngsters learn a little bit more or something that most of them have no idea about one of the most important wars we've ever fought. Veterans Day is really important to me because my dad's a veteran. So I think it was really cool that they get to come here. The biggest takeaway that many of the students said they received from the veterans was to follow your dreams fearlessly. So happy Veterans Day to all of our vets out there. Barbara Lee and Carlo. Thanks, Heather. And of course, Monday is Veterans Day. There will be no mail delivery and all city and county offices and libraries will be closed. In addition, county animal shelters are closed. However, City of San Diego trash pickup will be on normal schedule and most county parks and campsites will be open.